Hello friends, welcome to Paddu's Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to see a very very simple green pulao. This is a perfect dish for a lazy day. It's so easy to make and taste delicious. I have soaked 1 cup of jeeraga samba rice. This is soaking for 30 minutes. For the masala paste, we need fistful of mint leaves, fistful of coriander leaves, 2 medium sized onion, green chilies as needed. You can add 2, 8 cashew nuts soaked in little hot water, a heaped teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Blend everything together. Green paste is ready. You can use any vegetables of your choice. I am using 2 carrots, 10 to 15 beans, 1 potato, 1 big tomato, cauliflower, 10 to 15 florets. We need half cup of coconut milk. This is homemade coconut milk. I have given the link in the description box. These are the spices I am going to use. 1 teaspoon fennel seeds, cinnamon, 3 cloves, star anise, bay leaf, mace. This is stone flower that is kalpasi. It adds a nice flavor to the pulao. If you have these use it otherwise just use uh, fennel seeds, cloves and cinnamon. In a cooker heat 2 tablespoons of oil, 1 tablespoon of ghee, add all the spices, add the paste, cook until the rawness of the paste goes. Water has evaporated, rawness of the paste has gone. Now add tomatoes, all the vegetables. Salt needed. Add the soaked rice. Mix well so that it is well coated with the masala. Add 1 cup of hot water. This is the same water in which rice was soaked. Half cup of coconut milk. Mix well. Close the cooker. Place the weight. Cook on very low heat for 30 minutes. Or you can cook for one whistle. Green pulao is ready. Garnish with cashew nuts sauteed in ghee. Set aside for 5 minutes. Green pulao is ready. It tastes delicious with a simple raita. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to Padhu's Kitchen. Also click the bell icon so that you will get notified every time I post a video. Do share this video with your family and friends. Thank you.